the great northern wilderness. So this once was called. Today, the Adirondacks in Essex County, New York, are only a day's drive from home for half the people in the United States and Canada. Reminds me of Switzerland, this highway up Whiteface Mountain, one of the most spectacular rides in the world. You climb nearly a mile into the sky. Then to Summit House by elevator, 300 feet through solid rock. And here you can see for at least 50 miles. This is mountain climbing for a whole family. They did the same on Everest, took pictures to prove they were there. North to Canada's St. Lawrence Valley, east to the Green Mountains of Vermont, south over all the Adirondacks, and you can see it all from the top of Whiteface. Over 5,000 square miles here at your feet. And down there is one of my favorite spots on this earth, Lake Placid. Winter or summer, one of the most famous holiday towns in America, or anywhere. That snow, ice shavings from the public skating rink in the Olympic arena. The summer season reaches a peak on the gala nights when amateur skaters who have been practicing here all summer stage their spectacular. Most people think of the Adirondack area as a place to fish and to camp, to enjoy outdoor life with the family. How does it always happen that Sonny catches the whales and Dad gets the minnows? Just in time for breakfast. There's nothing that tastes quite so good as fish right out of the lake. All through the Adirondacks, you'll find public campsites, places to set up your tent, to park your trailer, to have a picnic. Near the monument that honors the explorer Champlain, who discovered this glorious lake, there's a beach. An instructor on hand to teach youngsters to swim well and safely. This beach at Crown Point is sheltered with shallow water where a young captain can launch his yacht. Here at the Crown Point State Park are striking remains of forts built by the French and by their British opponents during their long struggle for possession of Lake Champlain. Route of trade and highway of war. The walls of the old British barracks that make a favorite background for snapshots. Mementos of happy holidays at Crown Point. Outlines of the old fortifications can still be traced from the air. Fifteen miles south is historic Mount Defiance. From here, we can look down on Fort Ticonderoga, Gibraltar of the Americas. Now lovingly restored by the Pell family, the fort is in better shape than ever before in its history. It has witnessed events to stir the blood of patriots, notably during the Revolution, when Ethan Allen and his Green Mountain Boys captured it by storm. Just let your imagination take you back to dawn, May 10th, 1775. Captain Della Place, come out. What is this? I demand the instant surrender of this port and all the effects of George III. Are you mad? Who are you? I demand your instant surrender. In whose name? In the name of the great Jehovah and the Continental Congress. Cheers for one of the most daring exploits in American military history. 
Fort Ticonderoga, once key to a continent, commanding Lake Champlain, Lincoln the Water Highway from Canada to the eastern seaboard. Now at the Essex Regatta, highlight of the Lake Champlain boating season, from New York, Boston, Quebec, Miami, come visitors who pilot their craft along this waterway all the way from home. Some come for the roaring fun of outboard racing, others to watch. But for many, the friendly rivalry of racing sailboats is the principal pleasure of summer on the lake. Racing gives an edge to the simple joys of sailing. On a day like this, sailing is a contest of wits, a quiet competition between boat and boat, sailor and sailor, man and the elements. And afterward, good fellowship around the flowing bowl with yarns about the breeze that got away. Next winter, these trophies will sit proudly on mantles all over the east. Tokens of summer pleasures past and of summers yet to come, sailing the broad waters of Lake Champlain. And Scroon Lake, one of the most beautiful of the hundreds of lakes that dot the Adirondack landscape. Again, I'm reminded of Switzerland. A handsome park, everything neatly planned, so our young friends here can concentrate on having a good time. The town has provided a public bathhouse where you can change for sunbathing on the municipal beach or for swimming in the lake. Or if you're looking for thrills, how about water skiing? Some say the name Scroon comes from the Indian and means daughter of the mountains. Romantic legend for a handsome lake. Maybe you're a Sunday painter like Ethel Johnson who has a camp in the wooded hills above the village of Lewis. Maybe you have an adventuresome spirit like Ethel's and enjoy exploring back roads. These places haven't changed much since the time of the first settlers. For a painter, a photographer, or just a sightseer, the scenic rewards are high indeed. There are other things that haven't changed here in the woods. These mountain streams have always had some of the best fishing in the United States. Now, thanks to careful stocking, fishing is improving, although our friend Seelan doesn't seem to think so just now. Maybe a little further upstream, Every Adirondack brook has its legendary monster trout who lurks craftily in some deep, rocky pool. And here's a really typical Adirondack scene for our painter. Hey, wait a minute. Look, he's got a bite. Maybe not the biggest trout in the Boquet River, but a good one for a starter. Is your game golf? There are 18 good courses in Essex County. Here in Elizabethtown, they start young. It takes a while to develop form like this. Good one. With fairways through cool pine forests, the Cobble Hill course in Elizabethtown was laid out almost 60 years ago. Today, owned and managed by the village for the public, townspeople, and visitors. Known to be one of the oldest golf links in America, Cobble Hill is still one of the most challenging courses in the Adirondacks. The fourth hole, Old Glory, it's famous. The buzzer is so you won't beat anybody on the green out of sight over that hill. Uh, 
Uh-uh. Nobody's made old glory in one in 50 years. Maybe our young friend will make it someday. He's showing progress. Being a golfer, I know there are days when everything goes just right. Everybody can have a great time in the Adirondacks. Here at Minerva, they call for the kids each morning with the school bus. School bus? Oh, that's right. Mother can really relax here. She knows that the children are in good hands, off for a day of fun. Their destination, the school playground, to spend the morning whooping it up, solving on a grand scale the problem of, Mama, what can I do next? There's companionship and games for everybody. Play ball. The counselors are young, well-trained, chosen for their knack of getting along well with children. The aim of the youth program, to use an old-fashioned phrase, character development. Children having fun, learning to get along well with one another. For mom and dad, there's a quiet picnic at Minerva Lake. For the youngsters, lunch at school, then the beach. Mary has a small basket for mother. She made it this morning. Most of the towns in Essex County have free programs like Minerva's for their younger visitors. Also for the youngsters tucked away in the hills of North Hudson, a peaceful looking place called Frontier Town. Did I say peaceful? <laughs> Sheriff aims at the near bandit. Rear one falls off his horse. How's that for shooting? I hereby swear you in as official deputy sheriff. I'm fine. Now, deputy, I want you to take good care of that gold. I sure will. Well, let's go. Now's your chance, Everett. Stick him up. They got the Dalton boy. What's the charges against this poor cat here, Deputy? He tried to steal a gold out in the Ah, uh, he's coach. crazy. I did not. You did, eh? No, I did you? not. I did not. I'll get but, you yeah. five judges. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you heard the charges against this poor cat. I'll What's the verdict? Boy, I'll get yeah! So we leave peaceful frontier town. Bang, bang, you're back. Oh, yeah, bang, bang, I got you first. And on to fabulous North Pole, where Santa Claus spends the summer. Here you meet St. Nick himself, watch his elves getting things ready for Christmas. Then to a fairy tale village brought to life. The wonderful land of make-believe in Upper J. Everything, train, stagecoach, houses, castle, kid size. At old Max farm near Lake Placid, you ride on a hay wagon feed baby animals, meet a real farmer, and youngsters love it. 
Deer and spotted fawns actually eat out of your hand at Sterling's Fur and Game Farms. Probably America's oldest organized tourist attraction is Osable Chasm, carved from sandstone by the rushing waters of Osable River. The walls of the chasm tower several hundred feet, topped by pine forests. Elephant's head, sculptured by nature over the centuries, a favorite camera subject. We walk along stone galleries, now high above tumbling rapids and waterfalls, and now at water's edge. Here we board one of the sturdy bateaus to shoot the rapids of the Osable River. Skillful boatmen hold a safe course through the plunging waters. Emerging from the first rapids, we speed through the Grand Flume. Our guide points upward where the sides of the chasm come closer and closer together. At one point, walls less than 20 feet apart. Past sentry box, broken needle, through whirlpool basin, then a long glide through the last walled flume. And so we approach the end of a most unusual experience. One of the most agreeably stage-managed adventures that I've had anywhere. The Essex County Fair at Westport has marked the high point of summer for over a hundred years. How long since you've been to a real old-time county fair? Maybe the best place to digest pink cotton candy is on the Tilt-A-Whirl. Step right up, test your strength, win a cigar. Main reason for a county fair is competition. Good things to eat are judged and prizes awarded for the best homemade cherry jelly. Preserved beans, tomatoes, savory products of country kitchens. Cattle judging, always a big event in this dairy country. The judges' decisions keenly watched and discussed. The annual competition for these ribbons resulting over the years in major improvements in the quality and productivity of Essex County farm stock. Another competition for the improvement of the breed, of course, Harness racing, traditional feature of the county fair. And here they go, most of the drivers not professionals, local men who like to keep a fast horse in the back pasture. Around that final turn, down the straightaway to a driving finish. The winner. A close one like this calls for a drink. Evening and the fair goes on. There's a special magic here at night. The youngsters staying up later than ever before. Everybody winning something. And as a climax to the county fair, Two best months of the year, people around Willsboro think, come after Labor Day. The air crisp. The first fall colors beginning to show on the trees. More and more visitors are finding out the Adirondack people were right when they used to say, we keep the best weather for ourselves. Days still warm, the countryside sparkling with a special radiance. Pheasant hunting season is on. Ask an old timer like Jake. He knows where they are, down on the lower 40. Deserted farms in this forgotten frontier country, old pastures growing up to scrub, apple orchards abandoned, ideal cover for game birds. Part of the pleasure of hunting, watching a well-trained bird dog at work.
This is living. A good shot, a good dog, a good friend, under the open sky. Now comes the climax of autumn. Color, reds and yellows of every shade, racing over the hills like fire. Here at Keene Valley, hiking center of the Adirondacks. Starting point for all the highest peaks, like Marcy, Haystack, the Gothics. Maps and latest trail advice at the Information Center. Then past an upland farm, scratched out by pioneers a hundred years ago, and on into the woods, along trails clearly marked by the symbol of the Adirondack Mountain Club, of which I am a member. I know of nothing in the world. Tulip fields of Holland, gilded temples of Burma, a coronation in Nepal. Ah, but there's nothing I've seen more brilliantly colorful than autumn in the Adirondacks. Persian rug weavers, for all their skill, could never equal the magic carpet that October brings each year to the mountains and valleys around Keene. Every year, more people are discovering the splendor of these highlands during this enchanted season. As deer hunting season approaches, some farmers prepare for the arrival, together with the first light snowfall, of those redoubtable Nimrods, Abernathy, and Fisk. From a hunting lodge in Newcomb, it's only a step to... Hey, tracks! Huh, if those deer went where he's pointing, they walk backward. Not far now, he can almost smell them. Who can smell who? This is called passing the buck, Adirondack style. Evening, back at the hunting lodge, and then the same old complaint the Indians used to make around here. How did you do, fellows? Did you get your buck? Nope. Hunting isn't like it used to be around Newcomb. Didn't see a thing all day. Midwinter now, and odd villages appear on the frozen lakes. The ice a foot thick underneath a hundred feet of water. Hundreds of these fish shanties appear each year half a mile offshore from Port Henry on Lake Champlain. You bring your own or you can rent one. The shanty, a snug shelter against the north wind that roars down the lake. Inside, warmed by a pot-bellied stove, the fisherman begins a strange ritual. This is an ice fishing pole, each fisherman working one in each hand, with his own special rhythm, calculated to lure the fish to bait. Jig through holes in the ice below the shanty floor. A bite down there. Both poles work to bring in the fish. Miss a stroke and you've lost him. The prize, a silvery smelt. Not the world's sportiest fish, but great eating. And as they say around Port Henry, this sure stretches the fishing season. Now here's a scene that recalls a winter day of long ago. A courier and Ives print come to life. It's still an adventure to ride a dashing double cutter along the back road to Osable Forks. This is the way you went to town in the old, old days, breaking through the drifts. 
the going like this, sometimes easier to cut across the open fields. I think this is one of the best times of the year in the Adirondacks. For it's ski time in a winter wonderland. Mount Pisgah Ski Center near Saranac Lake with slopes for every degree of skill, including the beginning beginner. Those first few minutes on skis, I seem to recall, have their ups and downs. Not many seasons before he'll be skiing and jumping as well as this, an Olympic champ in the making. At Lake Placid's Fawn Ridge, Scott's Cobble, White Face, here at Pisgah, ski toes and ski lifts take the work out of the trip up to the start. And then that wide open slalom run down a fast slope. Ah, uh, to me, this is the number one thrill in winter sports. Is loafing in the sun your idea of a perfect holiday? Or do you prefer water sports as a participant or as a spectator? Or are you looking for a place where the whole family will have fun? Or do you thrill to the pageant of our American heritage? Or is your ideal relaxation matching wits with the wily trout? And how about shooting that round of golf in summer? Or a pheasant on a crisp fall day in all the world? There's no vacation land I know of like Essex County, New York. So near, with so many ways to enjoy your perfect Adirondack holiday.